Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Today we're going to go under the sea with the Under the Sea Tarot deck and the Dolphins and Mermaid uh, Oracle. But I just want to let you know that you're definitely going to want to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon because in August we're going to Wonderland together. So this is super exciting. I'm planning something really fun and we're going to go into um, Alice in Wonderland together in August. So yeah, you're definitely going, not going to want to miss that. It's going to be fun. So let's get started. What is one card that's the central theme of Virgo's reading? What is the central theme of Virgo's reading today? One card for the central theme of Virgo's reading today. So it's a new dawn. The worst is now behind you, and positive new experiences are on the horizon. <coughs> so that's beautiful. That's the central theme. Uh, this card just came out. It is sitting, sitting on the very top. Empowerment. You're more powerful than you realize. It's safe to be powerful. Okay. Give me three cards for what's on Virgo's mind. Three cards for what's on Virgo's mind. It's one of Virgo's internal. Okay, so there's new communication. New things are coming in. There's breakthroughs in a situation. There's new plans. All right. um, you're feeling very burdened. Uh, there's completions here. So there's beginnings and there's endings. Beginnings and endings. Okay. And then there's temperance. So that we have fire energy with the, there, there could be a Sagittarius. I have double Sagittarius side by side. Um, so there could be a Sagittarius involved, or just that energy of somebody who's very free, idealistic, outgoing, and he loves to gamble. All right, so the first part that we have is the Ace of Swords. So there's a breakthrough in the situation. There's new plans, new ideas, clarity of thought, a new outlook on life, a new mindset. Um, there could be new legal or medical issues. We have the Ten of Wands. So this is Sagittarius energy again. This is fire energy. This is all about ambition. Uh, tens are completions. With every completion, so there's a new beginning. Aces are new beginnings. So this can be seen as an ending or a new beginning. Uh, it's your choice how you want to view it. It's all a matter of perspective. But this is burdens. You feel burdened. There's commitments. There's responsibilities. You feel like you're on this uphill climb. The finish line is in sight, but it's really hard to reach. Um, you're taking on too much. You're carrying other people's problems. You're physically tired, and you need to rest. You're carrying all the responsibility of everything. Yeah, there's too much responsibility here. And then we have temperance. And temperance comes right after death, right after an ending. And right here we have the 10, which is completions, which is an ending. So temperance comes out after endings, and this is the new dawn. See the new dawn coming up? This is the new day, the light at the end of the tunnel. This is balancing. This is the calm after the storm. This is finding purpose, traveling, perfect timing, peace, tranquility. Healing, a time of healing, clarity, understanding. And that's your internal world. 
Now let's look at your external world, what's around you. So what's going on in Virgo's family and home life? Three cards for Virgo's family and home life, please. So you're leaving things behind for a new voyage. Lots of emotions. Cards for Virgo's family and home life, please. and being very independent and free. Okay, so the first card that we have is the Seven of Shells, or the Seven of Cups. This could be Pisces, traditionally, but I see Cancer with this because of the moon, and, Pi and Cancer is ruled by the moon. So we have the Seven of Shells, which could also be the Seven of Cups. And this is trying to find meaning in life, soul searching. You have multiple choices here. Um, you're searching for inner happiness. You're leaving things that are emotionally unfulfilling. You're walking away, abandoning, taking a break. This could be taking a break. So okay, it doesn't have to be like super theatrical. It could just be I'm taking a break. I'm overwhelmed, overworked, overburdened. I'm just taking a break. There's conflict here. Definitely conflict. And then we have the King of Cups. So this is giving somebody some good advice, providing a shoulder to cry on. Or somebody's doing this for you. Somebody's giving you good advice or providing you a shoulder to cry on. There's help in raising a child or um, raising something, building something up, seeking advice from family, friend, um, trying to keep the peace, trying to keep everyone calm, uh, trusting in human nature, being secretive. Right now it's not wise to expose your true feelings. You're a natural healer. You need to follow your hunches. You're, the king has learned to discipline his emotions. He appears secretive and withdrawn, but he understands emotions. He's compassionate. He's sensitive. He hates conflicts. He's deep wisdom. He's calm, caring. He's loving, friendly, sensitive, affectionate, a guru, a psychologist. He's a Pisces. So we have Pisces and Pisces side by side, and Sagittarius and Sagittarius side by side. So the, what, what do they have in common? They're both ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck. So luck is on your side, both internally and externally. They're both mutable signs. They both go with the flow. So there's a lot of um, just going with the flow. Going with the flow. One is fire, one's ambition, one's water, one's emotion. Generally, those two are not elementally dignified. They conflict. So there's conflict between your internal and external world. Internally, you're feeling burdened. Externally, you're walking away. You're abandoning things. You're seeking advice from others. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Rods. So there's um, looking, others look to you for guidance, or you look to this person for guidance. This is an Aries. Um, this is valuing freedom. Problems are faced head on, encouraging growth and self acceptance. Running a business in your sleep, being very active, active in any, many clubs, exercising, being spontaneous, sexy, radiant, healthy, taking charge of a situation, 
being determined, independent. You can do this. Being open and sincere. What's going on with the Virgo's money? What's going on with Virgo's money? Three cards for Virgo's money, please. Three cards for Virgo's money. So you feel like there's some sort of injustice, uh, bad luck, and deep love. We have three major life events in terms of your finances. The first is Libra energy. It's justice in the reverse. So there's some sort of injustice here, or you feel like there's some sort of injustice, or there actually is injustice here. Uh, it could be a divorce. It could be lawsuits. Uh, things you feel like things are going against you. There's arguments, being falsely accused, uh, crooked, corrupt, undiplomatic. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I always see this as Sagittarius energy. This is bad luck. This is negative karma coming back to bite you. Um, this is delays setbacks, the past is haunting you. And then we have the lovers in the upright. This is Gemini energy. So we actually end on a good note. This is self-love, the magic of falling in love. Attraction, sexual development. Learning how to decide, making decisions, learning to make decisions examining both sides of a situation, being a clear, effective communicator. So in the past, there is injustice. Presently, you're in this whirlwind of karma, and it's all negative. It's all like, what the hell did I do? It's just like a vortex sucking you in. Ooh, but then you like get it spits you out. So the, okay. Wow. This is cool. This is this. I just saw this. This is really cool. So things were in, unjust, unfair, and it sucked you down a hole. And it sucked you further and further down in this vortex of scum and this bad luck, this karma. But then you break out. You, the, it spits you out and you're reborn into this beautiful mermaid full of self-love like the phoenix rising from the ashes. So it all comes together and it comes together beautifully and then it just spits you straight out and then you're, you're in love, self-love, falling in love. You're, you're stronger. There's a new dawn, and you're empowered. You're in your power, financially. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So these are advice cards. So we have a very strong couple here. Both of the same element. Both are air element. Alright, so we have a couple here. These are character cards. We have the King and Queen of Swords. And they are seeing eye to eye. They're a strong couple. Um, they take feelings into consideration when making decisions. They're fair in the situation. They're upfront in their dealings. They work with others. They're free, single, independent. They're sharp, slick, savvy, sophisticated. They have no time for lies.
they come up with well thought out plans together. The truth is always coming out. Honesty is the best policy when dealing with this couple. This could be legal issues. It could stand for law enforcement. Getting clear, sound legal advice or just clear, sound advice in general from a counselor. This is Aquarius, Libra and Gemini energy. And they're very, they're getting along. They're very harmonious and they're empowered. And we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So it's giving up. Just give it up. It could be over a Leo because you have this strong team. You just need to give up, give up the past. And three cards for Virgo, social and romantic life, please. Three cards for Virgo, social and romantic life, please. Alright, so we have your energy. This is the card of Virgo. This is the Hermit. It's taking time to self-reflect. Um, taking time for yourself, looking at the past, um, putting yourself under a life review, accessing your higher self, listening to your intuition and your inner voice. I have the Ten of Swords. Ooh, look at this guy. He's seen better days, hasn't he? <laughs> this is a complete mental breakdown. This is being backstabbed. You're in crisis. There's severe conflict. There's abuse. There's attack. There's gossip. You feel like you hit rock bottom. This is presently, and this is Gemini energy. And then there's more rest. There's a mental overload. There, there's a need for retreat, an enforced period of rest. This could be hospitalization. So in terms of your social and your social and romantic life, there's a in, there's a time for rest here. You, you need to rest and reflect. All right, Virgo's career. Three cards for Virgo's career, please. Okay, so you avoided disaster. There aren't any new beginnings. There's a lack of motivation. There's spying. There's malicious gossip. So we have the Tower of Reverse. You avoided disaster here. You are tipped off and you avoid a complete and total disaster. There's a lack of motivation feeling weighed down. There's malicious gossip surrounding you in terms of your career. There's a blamer. Everything's your fault. Being rude, spy, cold arguments, being backstabbed, paranoid psychological abuse I do see an emotionally fulfilling career is ahead of you you need to be open to change You need to be open to change, and that will turn around your career and your finances. Well, Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, have a wonderful day.
Ooh.